Hello and welcome to British Academy. Today I'll be talking about logging and exception handling from chapter 12 of the book Python How To of Yong Chui, where I'm actually right here written as an acknowledged reviewer. So let's start it. Everything in Python is actually an object, so logging is no exception of this. And in order to have logging, we should be using the logger object. So in order to use it, we should write import without caps locks, of course, logging. And now this is probably the only time where you see it. And that's why it is named logger not good. Calling the logging simply from this, and it would be like that, task app. And why it is not good? Well, let's think about it. It is not good because every time we would be referring to this one, we would be uh, creating a new, we would be accessing new reference of the logger. Let's, let me show it. E.g. let's say logger zero equals this one logo one equals this one and let's make a few assertion assert logger zero is not okay is logo one and assert logo one is logger not good let's see here with the resertion, we were said that I had a mistake. Okay, here with the assertion, we would see that this is an assertion error. So what does it mean? Uh, why is it not good? Well, with two words, if we create it this way, it means that we have to create all the loggers separately and Creating all logos separately practically would bring no value to us because we should create different uh, customization. What we should be doing actually is the following logger that is good and it should be called with the get logger. And then what we can do here is if we copy this a few times, whatever we refer to, uh, it would be always referring to the same object. And yeah, let's see. Yeah. Same process finished with exit code one. So what we should be doing is always call the logger with this get logger. Now let's go one step further, remove all the stuff here. And let's imagine that we have a list of tasks, a to-do list. And this one actually should be a task that whenever it is called, it would be writing something in a not in the lock but in a lock file which is a bit better okay so this is the constructor and some kind of an error here with title and then we have remove from db okay simply like this task removed to. This is some kind of line where you can imagine that instead of this one, something like a query towards a database is called. And we get remove task removed. Yeah, simple as this one. So let's create the logger. I'll just call it not good logger, bad logger, but just logger, and it will be logging get logger. And the name will be the dunder name and then we will use have file handler and it would be logging dot file handler it would be file 
logo.log. Yeah. And now the interesting part, logo.adhandler. And it will be the file handler. Great. So let's start with our task and with our logging. So far, we simply declared a class that as per Python rules should have been a separate folder, but as YouTube rules should have been in the same one. And then logger, file handler, and logger are added. Pretty much we declared our logger, we declared a file handler, and we connected the logger to the file handler. So then task is task called laundry. It's a good one. And if task dot remove from db is true, then logger dot warning and simply write something like mm, removed the task task dot title from the db and i'm also going to print the same message in general if you're printing and writing the same message if you're writing something twice you can probably use a variable but not in this case yeah let's let's see what's going on tada it printed itself and also we created a new thing called file log that if we open it we see remove the task laundry from the db that's interesting and so i'll just remove this one like this and i'll try to run it again and we got it twice. If I run it like five times, I should have it seven times here. Yeah, something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, even eight. I didn't count correctly then. Yeah. So this is it. Seems pretty interesting, but we can make it even more beautiful. Let's see how. What we can do actually is to ask Python to read for us this logger here. I'm just going to write something like edit by Vitush Academy. Yeah, this is what happens when you enter the logs and see how this can be done actually. So check log content and then file name. Our name is actually also file path, but with our case, it's just the name because the main and the log file are in the same directory. So with open file name, as file, return file read. Yeah. So log records, check log content file name. File name equals file walk. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Run. Mm -hmm. And if I want to see them, I have to print them, of course. I think so, yes. Fair enough. So let's add a Steam handler to the whole party. Let's assume the variable called Steam Handler and it is called from logger logging dot Steam Handler. What does this thing actually do? That's a really great question. So this is what I found here, the logging dot handler. Official information saying that stream handler actually is a class located to the in-core logging package sends logging output to streams such as system stdout system stdr or any file like objects any objects who support write and flush methods okay if you heard me saying steam and not stream it's because of playing some time quite a lot so let's continue so stream handler and I call it Steam Handler, it should be Stream Handler. Okay, uh, let's continue. 
logger, a handler. This is literally string and pretty much we did this somewhere here to go above it handler but it was the file handler and this is a stream handler so let's see the difference what is going to be and we'll set it on a warning level again and we'll say just a random event yeah and what's next log records once more check log file content file name okay which i'm going to put this one here and i'm going to print in the log records of course just to see what is it going to happen how is it going to happen okay logging has not attribute steam handler i play probably too much on stream on steam so yeah, you see, and it just got a, just a random event. Interesting, if I run it twice, I got twice just a random event here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then three times. So pretty much I'm having just two events that are being locked. I'm going to delete everything in our program here. The first one is the event when the task removed is returned to true. Because we have a if here, if task dot remove from db is true, and it is true, then this event is written, and then we are having this uh, warning, just a random event. Let's see, just a random event, just a random event, uh, just a random event. I think is printed somewhere, or no? Wogger warning is actually just a random event and the warning is also displayed on the on our place. The best thing to do is simply not to print anything and just to see what's going on. And just a random event and it's a bit in red as well. Okay. Fair enough. Let's continue. So we can have a different level of walks pretty much logger dot set level and then here we can have here something like logging dot warning or let's see the different levels basic format probably and a critical debug error fatal and then the one I was looking for as well info and warning yeah what are these different events doing? That's a great question. Let's take a look at it. So this is what I found in the book. Pretty much we have five of these debug info warning error and critical. And the idea of having these five different levels is that we can filter out the important ones. Let's say we set up that our level is warning. So it means that it is going to catch only the ones that are above warning taking into account error and critical that's the first thing i want you to say and i just said something a bit wrong i said that this one here is displayed because of the level which is completely not true it is displayed in print pretty much because of the fact that we are using stream handler and the stream handler displays on the here on our console. So yes, that's kind of a bonus bonus from the stream handler. And we are getting so much stuff because our log is full. Yes, and if I have to run it, see just a random event is displayed in the stream handler is displayed through the stream handler in the console and then we got two more events here displayed but they are because of the lock pretty much that's it let's continue a bit more let's actually make our lock a bit beautiful not that it was ugly so far but beautiful is better than ugly this is one of the high cost from python so uh, yeah 
let's get information about a few information about uh, our logger so we can get logger level then logging dot level to name logger dot level yes and i'm just curious what i'm going to see here so yeah it's 30 warning it's from that part of the book that i showed you so yeah fair enough as well let's continue with more interesting stuff and the beautiful so logger is logging get logger or we can do this as many times as we need to we are always accessing the same one so no need actually to do it but what i can do is change the level it's like logger set level logging dot debug and if i copy this print here and put it here it should give me information like this 10 debug this is probably the lowest level from what i remember from that picture and we can create something interesting here it can be logger.handlers and they are going to be an empty list so now the formatter logging dot formatter okay acs asc time yes and person level name string and then percentage name percentage message and all of these are strings this is actually a way old way to, to use string formatter but I saw it in so plenty of places in internet in Google so it's kind of probably a standard already although I would call it an old one so logging down stream, stream handler again and stream handler dot formatter set formatter be our formatter this one see this is the idea that if we had like a lot of loggers then it'd be tough a bit to fix everything with different format so what else what else what else logger at handler and it would be stream handler okay uh, let's think about something else just going to comment everything here just to make this one as a separate one okay, stream handler. that was probably a mistake because the stream handler was something that i should not have okay it's a minus here and we have here logger mm. Ah, yeah, of course, I have also removed the important part, this one. Okay. And let's think about... Let's create a function with which we log stuff, pretty much. So it would be logger.info app is starting three dots because it's interesting this way logger dot error failed and to save to the db three dots and then logger dot info again created task and what else probably logger dot debug user is and if we now call it log 
some records. Let's see how it is going to be. I'm pretty much curious about this part here. It should be the important one. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, it only displayed the error because it has said so. But if I'm interested in to log or debug set level, let's see. And then it should probably display everything. Yes, this is what happened, literally. Because we said logger debug, it displayed everything above debug. So uh, if we had a warning, logger, let's see, just a warning. Curious whether it would be displayed. Yeah, the warning is displayed as well. So if it was not logging dot uh, logging dot info, not info but warning, then the info would be skipped, I guess. Yes, exactly. So you got the idea because our set level here is warning, then the info the is skipped and only the warning. In the error are present. So, what I said here, logging debug, debug is for everything. Obviously, probably kind of a synonym of info. Yeah. So, what is really important is this one. I mean, with this part here and level name, we get the exact time, the exact date, the exact level. Then we get the message. And we get the main name here, pretty much the name of the of the application. So if I rename it somehow, let's let's see what is going to happen. Probably easier to create a new one. Python file full bug and copy paste and see whether it would be here no okay the problem is that we are running the main so let's take another actually the main is here the name so if i name this one draw banana and run it yeah you'll see that Joe banana created a task it's the name the logger's name so let's leave it like this or some environmental username that you can be using. So, pretty much that's it. Should we think about something more? Mm, I can write this one to a file just to see how, beauty, how beautiful it looks. Let's give it a try. Uh, how to write to a file, log records, check file name. No. Uh, logging file handler <laughs> pretty much something like uh, with open name of the file Whoa. with open file.log for writing of course as file uh, we can say file dot write log some records. Let's see. Mm, log some records it doesn't return anything. That's gonna be tough. That's that's not correct. No. It's uh, return full just to have something. Yeah. If I want to, yeah, okay, so the correct way is if you want to write something into file, then it uh, shouldn't be steam handler, but it should be logger dot at handler, and this should be like the file handler that I have just discussed. This one. And then we should be 
quite okay with writing the things to the file. No, didn't happen. Let's think why. Mm, Steam handler. No, no, no. Full. So there should be a re okay. We are returning something. Let's not returning. Logger add handler. No, Steam handler, and I'm talking about file handler. So that's why. Run. And in the file handler, everything's perfect. So I'll just delete the full, just to have it once more and correct. And this is how the file log looks, which is kind of strange. It's, you know, I would have loved to have it this way, but the video became a bit too big. Let me just give it a last try and I'll do it. Actually, yeah, it should be with this set for matter. Mm, let's see, Steam handler, should be file handler, set for matter, for matter. Tada! Tada! We even have the colors, it's probably some kind of a feature of the ID that I'm using, but the fact that it works is nice. So yeah, this is how it works. We have a logger, which actually locks stuff. So yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see each other again with more interesting videos. Thanks.